Hello, my name is Bisma. I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia, and this is my first video on my first attempt on editing raw file from Thronos Photo website. So please bear with me, especially uh, my bad English. So we open the raw file in Photoshop, uh, and uh, we'll, uh, the photo will be open in Adobe Camera Raw. And then I'm gonna make a little bit adjustment on the white balance because I think the photo is a little bit uh, cooler uh, on my taste. So I'm gonna add a little bit uh, warm feeling, especially to the skin. And uh, we check the before and after. Okay, I think uh, that's enough about the. Uh, white balance correction and then the exposure I brighten up the photo I want uh, the focus to be uh, well exposed especially in the face adding a little bit contrast uh, check the highlight uh, everything okay on the highlight no uh, highlight clip on histogram uh, bump up the shadow I want the this area a little bit uh, brighter uh, adding a little bit black and then uh, clarity clarity uh, I'm adding a little bit clarity too not too much because I don't want to be uh, to uh, I don't want the skin to look uh, too harsh uh, and then we go to detail panel here uh, I'm gonna change the magnification to 100%. Uh, focus on the eyes uh, while pressing the Alt keyboard uh, simultaneously with dragging the slider. I'm gonna add the amount and then uh, the radius and uh, the details. And lastly is the masking slider. Here, uh, I do not want the sharpening to affect uh, the whole area of the image. So, by pressing the Alt keyboard and dragging the slider, I can determine uh, which area affected by the sharpening adjustment uh, that I made previously. So, I, I want the the white area is the area that will be affected by the sharpening adjustment. So, I want the adjustment. Uh, the, uh, the sharpening affect this area only uh, adding a little bit uh, on the amount and then we can check the before after it is subtle uh, change but it will change the overall look of the image okay check again let's see on the hand on a uh, whole look and then back to 100% okay now next is the lens correction uh, I'm gonna activate the enable lens profile correction this will allow uh, Adobe Camera Raw to make a uh, automatic correction on the distortion that uh, usually uh, happen uh, on a certain uh, combination of lens and camera so uh, Adobe Camera Raw will read the EXIF data from the photo uh, read the uh, camera that use and lens that use to uh, take this uh, photo and make a uh, necessary adjustment like this so you can see the this is before uh, lens profile correction and this is after lens profile correction as you can see uh, Camera Raw make a correction on the distortion so uh, this is before a little bit uh, a little bit distorted in the middle a little bit converged to the middle and when we activate the lens profile correction the uh, image looks uh, more natural uh, and that's all uh, adjustment I made in uh, Adobe Camera Raw next we click the open image button so the uh, photo will be opened in uh, in Adobe Photoshop okay uh, we will continue the video on part two uh, about how I edit the photo in Photoshop <laughs> 